Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. Today with the fourth Lyrical Monastery booster box. And yeah, this is for me the first Lyrical set I open. Uh, I, I wanted to wait a little bit longer until I open this. Because I already got like the second set and the third set in English. I'm still missing the first one. But yeah... The <laughs> The fourth set releases in English in, in the end of this month, I think. And I'm not sure if I want to get the English version too, or if I, if I think I have enough with this Japanese release. So yeah, I want to form an opinion. Because from the artworks, I'm a big fan of the Lyrical Monasterio boxes. But money-wise, I'm not... 100% sure if it's like worth it because the boxes are not that cheap and I think there are not many hits guaranteed per box. I think maybe just one, I think one SP only from the high hits. And yeah, I, I'm not really sure if I want to get the, the English box of this set or maybe I should just get the, the first release. But yeah, usually, yeah, I really wanted to open them in, in the right order. And yeah, this is like, a, as the cover says, it's like a Halloween themed designed set. Really like it. But now we have like January. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't pre-order it last year. I I picked it up later. I, I wasn't expecting it to to be available at all, to be honest. But yeah, I, I happily picked it up because I really think the, the artwork is cute. And I, I like the Halloween designs. Is it already like the big guaranteed hit? I hope it's not. It's a triple rare. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure if there is like a, a difference in foiling between Japanese and English releases. I, I think I've asked it before in one of my... Okay, furry. Oh, this is like more than a furry. God damn. They really do some... Some questionable fan service. But there's, of course, an, an audience for this card. I think there will people build like an entire entire deck around this card. If it's playable or not. But this belongs in, in someone's deck. Not in mine. But yeah, really, really cute art. But yeah, I, I think I've asked it in a previous Vanguard unboxing. But I don't remember if I got an answer from someone who, who watched it. Or maybe just nobody knows the answer. If there are like different... I really like this pastel color look. I don't know why she has like this bag on her head. I don't think she is this ugly. This is like more more a thing I could use. Maybe I sh I should should put a bag over my face for my unboxings and my my view account, my click through rate will be better. This could be like my my life hack to be successful on YouTube. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> should I use a bag? Uh, yeah, very cute. Like these humanoid or like animal featured characters. I think this is like acceptable. I had a discussion with one of my one of my viewers about when it's like still tolerable to to like these animal features and when it's too much. And in most of these cases, I think it's okay. But yeah, this this thing definitely like cross the cross the line this is really not okay this is like more fox than than human but yeah the the triple rare foiling i don't remember if i have seen this in in my english boxes but i also haven't like opened a lot of english vanguard it's a little bit sad still that the the cards are in Yu-Gi-Oh sized. For me, it's like, yeah, bigger, bigger is better. And uh, 
I like the the bigger artworks, to be honest. Or like the the bigger cards, like Pokemon and Magic, and yeah. So the art is bigger too, because there are like a lot of a lot of details in Card Fight Vanguard art. The the art is really not simplistic or boring. It's like really put a lot of effort like in the backgrounds and all the details. So much work into the art. Sometimes, or maybe it's because I don't have the best eyes, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to to see all the details. And we have a uh, DRR, not textured. I hope it's not the, the guaranteed big hit. Maybe they have like a special rarity in the set that replaces the SP. Yeah, there's no S. Yeah, sometimes I'm still confused with the rarities, but there is no, no SP rarity like there is the ORR, triple rare, FR. So maybe the FR is the guaranteed, guaranteed hit in the box. Because there are many, like 40 different FR cards. Yeah, great, great artwork. If I if I had friends or anyone to play with Vanguard, I would I would build a Lyrical Monasterio deck for sure. Yeah, but maybe without these these furries. Like a bunny. Okay. Now these mermaids are a little bit weird too, but okay, this is really cute. Like the the cat on her shoulder has a cloak and a little hat. Hope you can see it. It's a bit dark, but cats with hats are best. Really undervalued in, in artworks. So now we are getting some duplicates in the lower rarities. Oh, another triple rare. She's like a Halloween pirate. She gives me pirate vibes. And her with the bag again. So this was half of the box. I think after the unboxing I will take a look. Uh, okay, this is French, sir. I think it's French, but I cannot read French. Uh, I think I will look into the card gallery and see if there are like many, many cards and in, in higher rarities that I would like to get. From from the art, I would really, I would, I feel like I want another box, or like an English box. That's really, really cute artwork. Oh, yeah. So cute. She has two different eye colors. Reminds me of uh, Kurumi. I think Kurumi has... Oh. Okay. Wow. I, I don't know if this is the guaranteed hit or if this is special. It's an FFR. Not the highest rarity, it's one above one above the FR. But the framing they are like small maybe my camera can pick it up. There are small hearts in the framing. In the gold. Oh, this is this is a quality card. This is so cool. Yeah. I think I have to, to check some other unboxings on YouTube after this video to see if this is like the guaranteed hit, but it's a beautiful card. Uh, sadly, I, I don't think that my camera can pick up how how nice this card looks, but okay, yeah, it's the, the pirate, the pirate girl, really cool. 
<laughs> what is he? Like a ghost. Some more duplicates. She gives me like these horse girls vibes from uh, Yuma Mus Musume. Musume. Yeah, really. Really nice. Okay, uh, dark skin. Okay, this this is my type of girl. Blonde hair, dark skin. Reminds me of some adult content. Okay. Another triple rare. Oh, is this like the cover girl? Yeah, it's the cover girl. Cool. I hope I'm not out of focus the whole time. I... I have to work with a fixed focus because the the autofocus of my camera is crazy slow. It's it's more for taking photos than for making videos, but it's all that I have to work with. <laughs> like a dragon tail, probably. Oh, what's this? Oh. I thought it's an FR, but it's just a double rare. But uh, the card design and also like the 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 art style is different. Gives me different vibes than the rest. Yeah, prism prism P. I don't know. I I think I I just will get another box. Even okay, this is again more more animal than human. Oh, are these like snakes? Oh, maybe is she's like Medusa. Is this the case? Does she has like uh, snake hair? So she's not ugly. She just has snakes. Oh, kitty cat with a head. Again. Okay, that, that's that's again quest questionable. I don't know. I don't like this one. Reminds me of the the animal experiments in Full Metal Alchemist, where they made like the the child with the dog. You know, like this looks not like a. I don't know. This looks weird. But, okay, there's still an FR in in the box. But the FR has no, no texture at all. I don't really see a difference like in foiling. It's probably like the double rare foiling. So it's just like a, like a full art. Yeah, but my guess is that's the FR is guaranteed. So maybe the, maybe the FFR is guaranteed too. Because I would expect at least like one, one textured hit in the box. Oh man, these, the details and the cards. They are so good. I would love to, to play with these cards. To be honest, like how, how cool would they look. Yeah, there there are more snakes. So maybe it's really like I I guess that. Is Medusa. Uh, just the rare and the double rare. Mermaid girl again. Oh, sunflower. Sunflowers. Last pack. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this unboxing. I don't open Can't Fight Vanguard so often, but every time. That I do, I really feel like I had a good time. <laughs> so yeah, no, no big hit, but another cat in the background. That's important. So yeah, we end up with uh, one FR and the mm, cool textured card. So yeah, maybe if one of these textured cards is guaranteed per box, I will pick up one of the English version, English. And yeah, thank you for watching. And, oh, before I forgot it, I have to open one Force of Will box, as always. 
as I'm still looking for Anubis. Yeah, I always say this for people who, who don't know my channel or why I'm opening a, a random German Force of Will pack, but there is one card I need for my collection, and it's uh, an Anubis Secret Rare, but not in this pack. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.